While cooler days are ahead, some students at Purdue University are living in dorms without air conditioning. Star City's Marguerite and Cardoni learns what the students are doing to beat the heat. I could not work in my dorm sleeping. It took me like hours to fall asleep, wake up sweaty. It was not a good situation. I'm making sure I drink lots of water, staying hydrated, and that's definitely helped a lot. And um, I'm also making sure I take multiple showers a day just to stay cool throughout the day. Greater Lafayette has been under an excessive heat advisory since Wednesday, with temperatures reaching into the upper 90s. Sophomore Marshall Prince has been fortunate enough to live in a dorm with AC. I feel very fortunate. It is definitely very hot outside, and uh, whenever I take even a couple of steps outside, I feel like I'm just drenched in sweat. Freshman Henry Cacoluto also lives in a building with AC. However, his is broken. It's been broken for a couple days. Every time I turned the AC on, it would flip the breaker. And so I would have to be turning it on and off and on and off and on and off. Can't do that at night. Can't do that when I'm not there. So the room got really, really hot. It, it was bad. Dorms such as Cary Quad and Earhart do not have AC. In fact, the RAs of Cary Quad threw a cooling party complete with kiddie pools and snow cones to keep residents cool. Here's what these students recommend to stay cool. Go do your work at the Active Learning Center. Go around campus and not stand in your dorm. Open up those windows, get some fans, and remember to stay hydrated. The excessive heat advisory is in effect today until midnight tonight. Marguerite Incardoni, Star City News, Purdue University.